Welcome back YouTubers, Ryan here with another episode of San Diego Beer Vlog. Thanks for joining me. We're going to look at another beer from Fantôme in Belgium. This is their chocolate. I've had this for a little while, but I'm finally getting around to reviewing it. I figured it's kind of a good time to do so. As you saw, I just reviewed a, a Bach beer with chili and chocolate. Now I'm going to take a look at a Saison style ale with chocolate. Not only does it have chocolate, but it also has uh, chili pepper in it as well. They do cocoa powder and chili. So uh, let's get this thing open. This is, of course, capped and corked. Now it's looking just like a uh, fairly typical Saison in terms of color. Um, it's a very, very bright golden color. It's a, a ball conditioned beer, but the yeast stayed in, in the bottom of the bottle. Um, yeah, just a very, very bright golden. Tons of carbonation. Got about a finger of pretty bright white head on there. Let's get the aroma on it. Not really getting those two extra ingredients, the cocoa powder and chilies. There's definitely that Saison uh, yeast phenolic character to it. A lot of spice, like pepper, almost like a white pepper spice to it. There's sort of like a, you know, a little bit of like a chalky kind of yeast character to it. Trying to dig deep in there. Um, ton of brightiness from the malt. Definitely a little bit of a floral character in there. You know, light stone fruits, kind of like a, like an unripened pear kind of note. Um, doesn't not smelling the the chili and the in the in the cocoa powder, but uh, let's give it a try. Cheers. Oh, that's very interesting. I mean, it still tastes like a Saison, but you do start to get those extra ingredients. Um, extreme amount of carbonation attacking the front of your palate. Um, so much so that it kind of takes a while for those flavors to get going on your tongue. Wow, that is really different. Really different. Long lingering, it's it's dry, but there's a big sweetness up front. Much sweeter than uh, you know maybe a typical saison. Get some caramel in there. The chili seems to kind of you get a hint of that in the end with the finish after that kind of yeast spice kind of goes away. You start to kind of pick up some of the the chili powder in there. Sipping more on this beer, it's rather perplexing for a saison. I mean, there's nothing really like this. Up front, you do get a lot of sweetness, a lot of bready sweetness, kind of biscuity notes, some caramel in there. There is a little bit of cocoa character in there. I'm just not used to seeing that in this type of a light beer. I mean, it's it's there, but it's certainly not overpowering. It just kind of works in as kind of like a spice. Um, you get a lot of uh, yeast phenolics, esters coming off this thing. A lot of, you know, pepperiness, sort of clove. Um, Kind of lends to some light, brighter fruits, like uh, you know, pear, white grape. Uh, the yeast in a lot of Phantom beers has a little bit of like a funkiness in there. Uh, definitely getting a little bit of funk on the back end. The finish le leaves a little uh, very drying, and you get a little just kind of hint of like a chili powder on there. But it, it's just kind of weird. It, it's like the extra ingredients you use sort of kind of blend in with the yeast characteristics a lot. But other than that, I mean, you, you definitely sort of taste that that house yeast that, that Phantom uses. Very, very mild, almost kind of like tartness on the back end as well. But really, I think it's just sort of that uh, fruity kind of funkiness. Because there's probably a little bit of like a wild yeast or some kind of bacteria that they use in their yeast strain. So it's, I mean, a really interesting beer. It's unconventional. Um, I don't think it's quite up there with some of their better offerings, like their, their regular saisons. Absolutely phenomenal. I just have a really hard time getting that these days. In fact, I haven't seen it in a long time. Hopefully it comes out again. But um, 
their bottles have a lot of variation, a lot of batch variation with Phantom. Uh, apparently the brewing process, they don't really write a whole lot down. If, if anything, it's just kind of, let's throw a little of this in, a little of that. So you kind of have to be careful of, I mean, it's a bit of a gamble when you get a bottle. This is really nice though. It's, it's a B plus type of beer. Um, the extra ingredients are sort of, I mean, yeah, I like to take them or leave them, but I mean, they're in there and they sort of work. It's just, it's just a little weird, so. B plus for Phantom chocolate. Just don't expect it to be like, you know, really pronounced characteristics. But on its own, like, it's a really fantastic, easy drinking, sort of wintry kind of type of Saison if you could have one without being a dark Saison. So, it's going to wrap it up. Until next time, please comment and subscribe. Cheers.